Hello, I'm Chris with RVMobileInternet.com with an unboxing video for you guys today of the new Wi-Fi Ranger gear that is just coming to market, long awaited 802.11 AC capable Wi-Fi Ranger routers and uh, roof mounted long range gear. So um, first uh, we'll take a look at the Wi-Fi Ranger Sky Pro Pack. Uh, Wi-Fi Ranger sells their gear in packs with both an indoor uh, router and an outdoor CPE, which is the long-range component. Or, of course, you can buy the pieces separately. So, this, we have not opened this yet. We're going to see what's here. This is a package content. It is a SkyPro router, a core router, 110-volt AC power adapter, uh, 30 feet of cable to hook up to the roof. Um, ooh, it's 12-volt to 24-volt step-up converter. And... Um, a quick start installation guide. Let's see what's inside. Ah, Wi-Fi Ranger has a tradition of providing Werther's original candy. It's been going on for years, I think four or five years now. Always a treat when we get something new from Wi-Fi Ranger. And underneath the plastic, here we have Let's start with the little thing here. This is the Wi-Fi Ranger Core. This is their new basic indoor router, um, but it's actually got a lot of capability. Well, it's very small. I've not seen this in person yet. Uh, so it's got um, uh, five ethernet ports on the back. Uh, one is for an upstream, a wireless network. Um, and you've got, well, uh, actually yeah, four for your, for your inside, wire, inside wired network. And then you've got a PoE out. This is what will power and control the up upstairs on your roof component. Um, power input. Looks like it, this one takes between 10 and 28 volts power in. And then critical here on the side is the USB port for tethering it to cellular devices like a, um, a cellular hotspot. And well, this is really small, quite nice. And then the roof piece. This is the Sky Pro. So this is their, I guess, middle of the line, product line, for a, as far as what goes on the roof. They have the Sky 2, which is an older product. Um, physically looks very similar to this, but has just a single antenna. Um, and a uh, single antenna means it is using only one antenna for MIMO. Um, Wi-Fi, just like LTE, really likes to have multiple antennas. It can really take advantage of it. And so this is a dual chain um, Wi-Fi. You can combine double speeds using two antennas, and um, that's pretty nice. So, These are Wi Fi only antennas, they are right. not cellular. Yep. And, and they are claiming a range of what, 1.5 miles? Yeah, I think that is their official spec range on this. Uh, so, this is um, uh, only 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi, which is what is in basically any place you'll find public Wi Fi in a campground or anything else. It's not 5 gigahertz, it's not 802.11 AC, but for Long distance on your roof, that is really not too important. See, this is a relatively low profile thing. You could uh, either just seal this down with some sealant onto your roof. Um, we actually attach it with zip ties to a piece of conduit um, to hold it down when we've attached ones like this before. And new for them is these uh, antennas apparently have some give so they can survive it's getting whacked. Feet. Yeah. Over a bridge, but yeah, it looks. In a it looks like uh, you know this still gets whacked too hard. It will suffer. It doesn't. I wouldn't want to stress test it just quite yet, but it does have some give. So there's that. Let's see what other little bits they give you for hooking it up. Ooh, what's that? Little something fell out. Another one of them. This might be little uh, crimpers, I'm guessing. Here's the indoor um, power supply for plugging into AC power. Uh, it puts out 24 volts, 1.2 amps. If we plug into a wall current. And here, ah, this is something I've been suggesting Wi-Fi Rangers start doing, and it looks like they have. Um, let me get this out of the plastic. This is if you want to hook it up to your uh, RV's 12 volt power supply. And this is a, a little um, step up converter. It'll take power input between eight and 40 volts and put out 24 volts. Um, past Wi-Fi Ranger devices, as you see, 
um, they can take the router will take DC volts as down to 10 volts and all their other stuff has just come with simple straight wires to plug in to an RV's 12 volt power supply but they've had a history of problems of when doing a lot of transmitting in particular the voltage will sag and the Wi-Fi Ranger might spontaneously reboot but if you're plugged up to 24 volts it works great so this turns your 12 volt supply in your RV into 24 volts for the Wi-Fi Ranger hopefully that finally solves that uh, long-standing problem when running off of 12 volts I'm really thrilled to see them including this. And uh, yeah, I think these are just uh, little crimpers to hook this to your RV's 12 volt supply. So that is the new Wi-Fi Ranger um, Sky Pro kit. Now, I'll jump over. Well, so we've already gotten this one. This one we got as a, before it was ready for official release. So, um, but this is the Wi-Fi Ranger Go AC. This is the bigger brother of this. Um, literally a bigger brother. Uh, so the core versus the Go AC. These are the two indoor router options from Wi-Fi Ranger. And as you see, they are basically identical as far as ports are concerned. This port actually is not used by anything right now. Um, has the same USB ports on the side. Everything. They're both 802.11 AC devices. You'd think, well, what's the big difference? Um, two of them. One, the ports on the uh, Go AC are gigabit Ethernet ports. So if you're using a, building a wired network in your RV, these are uh, 1,000 megabits per second, and these are 100 megabits a second, so 10 times faster for your wired network. Makes a really big difference if you're trying to have multiple wired devices talking to each other. And then the other difference is as far as your internal Wi-Fi network. They're both 802.11 AC, but this is a single chain 802.11 AC, which means it only has one antenna internally. And this is a triple chain, which means it's got three antennas internally. So this is three times faster, theoretically, with your internal Wi-Fi network. And then this is also has a faster CPU, more memory, and just a more capable overall. Um, so for a faster indoor network, this is probably the better option. But this is a lot cheaper. Um, and but there we go. Now the other pack Wi-Fi Ranger cells. Now this is the other, the top end of their roof-mounted things. This is the Elite AC. Oh, this one is taped shut. Yeah, there's probably more candy in here. Wi-Fi Ranger, love the candy. Okay. No candy. Oh, there's candy. Uh, there's candy. There's no, candy. wait, no, no candy. No, no candy. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, that would be a bug in the system. Maybe when they include this, you know, it doesn't even have the documentation. So this is just the Elite AC. They, they also sell this as a pack with the Go, with the Go AC or with all the Wi-Fi Ranger gear you can buy them separately so you can mix and match but they have There's the really no price advantage to buying them as packs because yes. they're out of the same price and and one thing we actually like to recommend people do is start with the inside router build your internal network focus on cellular and then if long range wi-fi and something on the roof matters to you then you could add this later you just plug it in and so the user interface just adds another upstream connection so you got your long range wi-fi so the Elite AC is very similar to the uh, outgoing um, older uh, Wi-Fi Ranger Elite. Um, the big difference is that this now has both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz and support for 802.11 AC. Now it's unlike the indoor routers where they support um, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, they support them both simultaneously so you can have all your internal devices talking whether they support 2.4 or 5. This is designed for talking upstream to a campground network. And as we said, most campground networks are 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, some places you might run across where they have kind of their, their own backbone as five gigahertz and they will let devices talk to that and then you'll be able to bypass and get the fastest possible speeds. So this can go into five gigahertz mode. So you can choose which mode it is, 2.4 or five. And because it is a bigger, heftier system, a little bit more powerful transmitters and a more powerful antenna, it should theoretically have longer range than this. They claim two miles. They claim two miles. But because this is dual chain, has two antennas, in shorter range situations, this should actually potentially, this, this should theoretically be quite a bit faster, twice as fast. So longer max range, max power, in more normal situations, this one's probably faster. So we think for most people, this is probably the smarter choice unless range is really your most critical thing. But we're looking forward to actually testing these. And so again, just like the, the uh, Sky Pro, this is powered over Ethernet and goes to this. And then this mounts to your roof. And as you see, this is pretty tall. They have a version of this called the flat mount, um, 
that has basically an L here and then the antenna. So you can mount this flat on your roof and the antenna comes up. So it's a little bit less tall. Um, so for doing that, but you still have a big antenna coming up. Um, the new version of the flat mount has their flexible mounts on it so it can survive a little bit of an impact. Or if you have this, this is perfect for attaching to and they have clamps, you know, both zip tie and metal clamps to attach this either to a flagpole or to the kind of TV antenna that cranks up. So when you park, you crank this up and it doesn't matter. You're not worried about hitting tree branches or overhangs and stuff. So that's how the Elite AC would work. And we're looking forward to testing all this gear, seeing how well it actually works. And you know, just to, to mention the other uh, new um, bit of uh, uh, Wi-Fi gear of interest to RVers that just also came out. This is the Pepwave Surf Soho 802.11ac version that is on paper very, very similar to the Wi-Fi Ranger Go AC. Um, doesn't have the ability to pair with and control a roof mounted unit. Yeah, um, can plug in, but cannot control. Yeah, it does not have the, the integration. Um, that, that's Wi Fi Ranger specialty, but this is actually half the cost. So we're going to be comparing the Go AC versus the Pepwave Surf Soho and deciding what the trade offs are. Um, but if you're looking for the full kit with the long range roof stuff as well as your internal RV network, uh, Wi Fi Ranger is that's, that's where they stake their reputation and it's probably a good choice. So this is our very, very first look, just literally opening the boxes. Um, stay tuned for uh, future in-depth analysis, performance testing, and reviews. Yep, so those will be going to our premium members at rvmobileinternet.com. That's where all our in-depth content <laughs> goes to. We also have the WineGuard Connect T, which is a new um, roof-mounted Wi-Fi antenna that is already installed. We'll be yep. getting these installed on the roof as well and we'll be doing some head-to-head -head testing on yep. this all. Awesome. It's Thank a new era in mobile internet. A lot of new options. Take care. Mm -hmm.